On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, are you hungry for Blocks Fruits? Tasty, yummy Blocks Fruits are on the table. Series one from Fat Mojo. There are 10 Blocks Fruits to collect. We can see seven, and then there are three more in a mystery shadow. I wonder what they could be. Did I even just spoil it with the word shadow? Because you can't really see them, and they're kind of darkened and silhouetted, and what? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, there's 10 to collect, and there's also some codes included to upgrade your game of Blocks Fruits. Always helpful. All I know is about Rocket. Rocket up there shooting rockets. Uh, that's my Blocks Fruit of choice because that's the first one you get. But there's 10 more. So join along as we discover our Blocks Fruits collection from Fat Mojo. Please like, share, and subscribe. And oh, that's got to hurt. So what do you say, Blocks Fruits Series 1, what do you say? Is it chilly in here? Elemental frosty ice. And for our first chilly Blocks Fruits of the day, ice. It's like I'm holding an ice cube. Is my hands turning blue? It's getting cold in here. These are fun, they're quite heavy. They're quite heavy. And you can see about the scale of a big gray squirrel. I'm the scale of a block fruit. Yum. And most importantly, a physical fruit box DLC. What do we have? Which I just pulled an ice fruit. How convenient and unexpected. I thought maybe these would be random. As with the rocket fruit I had opened up earlier, the code had opened me up with that one with a love fruit. We'll test the next fruit, see what happens. By the way, up close with the rocket fruit, my first fruit in gameplay. Rocket fruit, usually the cheapest, I think, at 5,000. I've got mine leveled up to around 24, 25. It's fancy, but I really need to explore better different blocks fruits, and that's what we're here to do today. Other than being very silver, it took me a moment to go, why is this rocket? Well, you can see these rocket fins coming off the fruit, and a little tiny rocket plumage of plant. Very cute. Bum, 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 ba, 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 bum. Oh no, it's radioactive burning, Godzilla. Quickly, ice it down, ice it down. Ba, 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 bum. Ba, 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 bum. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, good job, Ice Blocks Fruit. That was close. Let's try this one. There we go, it's a love fruit. Ooh. Oh. A natural yet legendary fruit. Over a million. Yikes, that's expensive in gameplay for me at least. I'm just starting out. A little cute little heart on top of its fruit tuft. And a little bit more shapened like a heart in a way. It's rounded on the base there. So I'm curious, what say does the physical item code on this one go? Oh, okay, I got a light fruit. It seems like these are going to be random numbers, I think, with the packs. We'll know as we go a little farther. And that's three helpful tasty fruits now. Good times. I'm assuming that the light fruit is one of the mysteries. You can even see the shape right there of one. For now, what are we gonna pull? What are we gonna pull? Oh my, this looks box specific. The Uncommon Falcon Blocks Fruit. A little more reddish in the toy form than on box form. Box has it very brown. There's our falcon. Even though Uncommon feels like the most powerful of today's so far, just because of the subject matter of the falcon. I like the little blocks fruit topper there of a falcon shape. Some wingage, some plumage. Over onto the back here. A lot of feathers. And a base. What's on these bases, by the way? Anything special? Gamer Robot Fat Mojo 2023. Made in China and a little batch number for you. Well, that was a good find. I imagine we'll see a few more falcons as we go along. We've yet to pull our first mystery rare. We did pretty good with Garten a Ban Ban, though. What do we got here? Oh, wow. Did we do it? Nope, not a mystery. It's just a common spin fruit. Whoop. Spinny. Your second most common fruit after rocket spin fruit. What kind of delicious treat is this? Is it some sort of squared apple spun about? Anybody tell me in the comments what do you think this is in fruit lore. Uh, a little topper on that. And little spinny eyes probably indicate the spin feature. Very ninja-esque. I do like this one. This is a good find. And of course, an item code. 
For now, just to keep them in order, I'm just gonna put who's on what. That way I know when I open them later. So that's five fruits now. Five fruits out of ten. We're still looking for several more here in the commons. And then these three mysteries, we've yet to pull a mystery. You okay over there, Suko? It's funny how in gameplay, how rare you even really see the Blox fruits. Uh, this game has totally thrown me, but it's fun. Why be it another? He's shy. Love fruit. Me thinks me going to be selling a few of these on eBay soon. Okay, I have good thoughts on this one. Good thoughts on this one here. And it is a good thought, and it is a rare. I can't see it though. Ah, ah, a rare. Ah, it's a natural type mythical shadow. Who, me? No, shadow blocks fruit. Oh, okay. Wow. What a pull. Feels a little heavier than the others. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it's so dark and mysteriously shadowish. Very fun. No articulation on these, but they're really quite sculpted to make up for it. Let's say the topper is on that one, do you think? Kind of bat-like. Little bat topper. I like the use of the color, the bright neon pink inside shadowing. It just pops out, especially on the wing detailage, too. Very cool find. And ooh, this one had two codes included, a permanent Blocks Fruit DLC code, and then just your basic physical Blocks Fruit code. Gotta keep a hold on to these. And now, there are six Blocks Fruits. What say will we pull next? It's gotta be one of the most interesting of Blocks Fruits, right? This package looks different for some reason, but it's got to be legit. What do we have in our next Blocks Fruit? Oh, uh, P? Wait, wait a minute. Alphabet lore? Fat Mojo. Oh, this fell in the wrong box. I got a P uh, <laughs> from Alphabet Lore. Okay, these collector's clips are amazingly awesome. And I think they almost work perfectly for Alphabet Lore because you can kind of um, dance them around on their clips. Very quite funny. I have also found in my hunts N and E. E. Because now I can spell pen. Okay. Or end. P okay, well, anyway, alphabet lore also out there, Fat Mojo. I've been having fun with those too. We're on the hunt for four more. Oh, and we found our light fruit, I believe. Bouncy back, dude. A rare elemental light fruit. Said to be good for grinding in the first few levels, I have yet to really try anything other than Rocket, so I may look for this one, or maybe I'll get a code for it. Feels very Super Mario with the star shape, doesn't it? I feel like Super Mario going on here. I like the Shurkan star for the top of the fruit. That's a cute little ad effect. And a little bit of a swirl back there. Some extra secondary paintwork on these little fruits, which make them really fun. Really fun and cute to collect. And has a nice flat base on this one. Ooh, I thought light fruits were supposed to land on their feet. Well, maybe not. Nice flat base on this one. And confirmed, that is another mystery rare, by the way. And confirming, when you get a mystery rare from Fat Mojo, you should be getting two codes. You should get a permanent fruit box DLC and a physical fruit box DLC. Did I say fruit box or fruit blocks? Blocks, box, why did they do that to me? Well, anyhow. That's a really fun find for your Blox Fruit collections. There are be three left to look for. Up, oh, another spin fruit. Yeah, I overdid it this time. I think I definitely overdid it. A oh, ghost! Rare natural typed ghost. Haunted. Ah, uh, look at there. That's a good one. That is a great fun design on that one and completes, I believe, all common uh, known figures in the first series Fat Mojo collection. For surely haunting, seems like something from Scooby-Doo, doesn't it? I like the little ghost topper on that fruit of tuft. The little plant-like tuft on top. I like this one. This is spooky and balances collection pretty well. Okay, we have found eight. I'm still looking for two more. What are the chances? Looking for rubber and another mystery. Another mystery rare. I feel like I should have good odds at finding a rubber before I finish this off. 
so we will see. But another ghost. Boop. One of these poles has to be, just has to be rubber. I think we found her. Whoa! Don't even ask me where the virtual code flew on that one. Oh, it's just right here. There's rubber, finally. Rare natural grants you a little bit of immunity, I hear, not have yet used, but I think I will try to find this one at some point. Maybe I got a code for it, I don't know. I like the little hamster claw on the side there. Do hamsters have claws? How about a crab claw? Cute little fruit, kind of one of the most fruitish of any of them today. Like, I could actually see this in a garden growing. Except for maybe the eyes staring back at us. Oh, even the little bit of springy plant-like life coming from the top. Very cute. Whoa! So I've done pretty well. I've collected nine of the Blocks Fruits available from Series 1. I've got a few other bags left. Do I pull fate? Do I pull fate? The box just moved naturally in the box. Okay, that's fate. It's got to be this one. If it's this one, that'll be crazy fate. That was weird. Did you guys just see that? That was a haunted moment at Squirrel Stampede. I swear I did not edit that. I did not edit that at all. I said fate. The bag fell in the back of the box. That was not scripted. Not scripted at all. I'm a little freaked out. A little freaked out here. We found our final blocks fruit. Wow. Was it Alice from Bendy? I think it was who moved on stage. We've had some haunted things happen occasionally. We've got a legendary blizzard to finish off today. Legendary elemental type, extremely expensive, like over 2 million, almost 300. Uh, there's two cards again for the super hidden rares in the series. It almost feels like it has an ice topper, like you could remove this, but it's, it's glued on or it's even just sculpted on there. Blizzard to finish things off. What a chill. What a creepy find. Again, it moved, I swear. It moved. It saved me from opening two extra packages, too. Not really sure what I'm doing with the rest. A little bit of TikTok, maybe. Oh, that is such a cool one. I like a little frozen tree up on the topper. A little frozen tree topper. So I somehow did it again with Fat Mojo blind bags. There are some boxes where you get to see visual uh, blocks fruit characters with, I believe, a mystery. Like, there would be... One side of the box, you see what you're getting, and then the other side of the box is a surprise. So that's another way to look for these two. I don't see those as much as I see run into these bag mystery bag packs. But they were fun, weren't they? Except for the huge pile of blocks fruit stuff on my floor now. What? All right, so let's line these up as indicated on the front of box. Here is our layout. We have ghost, found a couple ghosts. Falcon, heart, rocket. Rubber, ice, spin, blizzard, shadow, and light. Very fun, very fun blocks fruits. Now I have to have a battle. The battle of my favorite, 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 favorite. Okay, who's my favorites out of 10? So top five. Well, maybe I should start by going not top five. I don't think heart or ice are in my top five. They're cool. They're lovely but I'll put them in the back. I think for starting at number five, I'll go with Rocket. Rocket was the first one I ever pulled and the first one I used in gameplay, so it has some special meaning. I don't think I care too much for Blizzard either, so I'll throw him back behind Ice. I think in fourth place, I'll go with Ghost. Ghost is really fun, would make for a take with you anywhere type of blocks fruit. I don't think I'm a big fan of Falcon. For some reason, Falcon has the least fruitish feeling out of the collection. So five at Rocket, four at Ghost, Three at Shadow. Oh, I know, you're probably thinking, wow, Shadow should have been first. But I actually have special feelings for Spin here. It's just a really well-designed blocks fruit. I like the balance of this one. I like the ninja-esque-ness of this one, the pirate-nesque of it. It's a good one. It's common, so it should be a little easier to find, hopefully. And my favorite, my favorite today, goes to the star, the light fruit. It looks tasty. If I were going to eat any one of these, if I had to eat one and enjoy its deliciousness, I think the star fruit, it just looks like the most tastiest. It's got to just be the most bestest thing. Probably light up your stomach, too. So those are my favorite five in the collection. But 
quite honestly, they are all quite a bit of fun. Glad I got to explore the first series of Blocks Fruits from Fat Mojo and share with you today. Okay, here we are on Pirate Island. Let's test out our Blocks Fruit on a few pirates in the corner over here. I think I've got my Rocket Fruit activated. And, oh, that's got to hurt. And now they're after me. How about a little air strike from the rocket? from the sky. So yeah, these guys are gonna chase me around a little bit now because I'm unloaded. And some more. Uh, we gotta try a different blocks route. We've gotta try something different. Oh, run away, run away. Oh no, wait, here it is down here. Let's have a love fruit. How is this gonna work? What's gonna happen? What do you wish to do with this blocks fruit? Let's eat. Mmm, tasty, tasty love fruit. Oh, I can only imagine what's gonna happen now. It's only out of mastery one, so nothing much. I only have one option here with the heart shot. Uh, would you like a would you like a heart shot guy in the corner? Would you like a heart shot? Oh, that's kind of cool. I'll give you that since I've been using rocket all this time. Uh, and he's kind of coming back for me, and my controller just fell asleep. Wake up, controller. There we go. Gosh, why does it do that to me? Okay, now we can get him again. <laughs> That's not too bad. Look at the damage it does in the battlefield. Let's do one more. Let's see if I can... Oh, I guess I have to defeat him. Where did, where did he go? Is he way up there? He's way up there. <laughs> How did you get up there, dude? I've got something for you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now I've totally lost him. Oh, I think he's over there. <laughs> I threw him way over there. I feel like this is a little bit stronger than Rocket. It is more rare, right? Oh, okay, one more hit. One more hit for the, the heart fruit. The love fruit. Boom! Ow! Oh, uh, oh, wait! Where did he come from? He tricked me. He tricked me! Alright, this is, this is the last, the last hit. Boom! We mastered up to four, so. So pretty fun with the the heart fruit. Okay, I don't want to eat too many of the new fruits we have today, but I gotta see one more. Let's check out this light fruit. It's so cute. And uh, let's see, where did I put it in my inventory? There it is. Oh, it's even cuter how the eyes spin around. Oh, my, my star fruit. Eating a star fruit at nighttime. A perfect, perfect time. Uh, what do you wish to do with this? Let's eat it. And I think... Uh, this will send my heart fruit. I don't know where it sends my heart fruit. Um, I don't think I have it anymore. Uh, nope, you lose it. I gotta figure out that. But we'll figure out this. Uh, load this up. Light ray. Oh, I can already see its power. Its power. All right, dude in the corner. <laughs> yeah, this one's cool. I'll be using this one a lot more than Rocket. Takes a little while to load up, though. About the same time they all do though. Hey, what do you think about this light attack I've got there, pirate? Pretty fun. Oh, he's getting injured. He's getting injured. I don't know if he could take one more of my hits. One more, huh? Ah! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. They always disappear so oddly. Like flying through the sky. Gotta get a better angle of them flying through the sky, right? Oh, oh, and I missed. I missed trying to get a good angle. Bounce you back, dude. Just a couple more hits. Just a couple more hits should do it. Oof, one more. Can I just run around you funny-like? Oh, guy in the way, guy in the way. Oh, now they're all after me, but I did get this up to a level four. How strong is it now? A little bit stronger. So there is the light fruit. I think this might be my go-to fruit from now on. It is really cool. So it's awesome that you're able to get some of these codes uh, from the toys. I like that a lot. That should be more often in video game toys. You should always get a DLC code. There you go, Blocks Fruits, what do you think? And a squash, a, a squash and some Blocks Fruits. Fun collection from Fat Mojo. 
If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, squirrelibe, squamit, your favorite blocks, fruits, character, how far you are in gameplay, all that fun. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that. Whoa!